Hey guys, in this video, we will be learning how to draw a handrail using the free modeling function. Alright, so this is the final outcome. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. So firstly, go right into your free modeling function. Okay. So for step one, in order to create a handrail, we need to start by drawing our staircase. Okay, so to draw a staircase, we can always use the line function. So click on the line function and then let's type it in. As you can see, when I type it, when I type in my dimensions, it appears on the bottom corner left side. Alright, so I'm going to go up 150, go to my left hand side 300. 150 300 and i'll do this again and again repeat it until i have a total number of 11 stairs okay so 300 150 300 150 300 150 300 One fifty three hundred one fifty three hundred one fifty. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, ten, and one last one, eleven. All right, so once I have my stairs done, I can always. Okay, join them together all right so right now I already have my staircase okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is that I would start drawing the bars okay my handrail bars okay so I can always use the rectangle function to draw so just click on click and drag and then the same thing type in the dimensions okay as you can see 1000 for my length with 30 same thing repeat the steps until I get a total of six bars All right fourth one thousand and thirty okay and then one thousand and thirty and one last one one thousand and 30 for my rift all right so as you can see i have a total of six bars okay so the next thing i'm going to do is that we can add the subline okay so we are going to use the subline function so click on subline and then draw in between of every single pillar all right in between so just drag it right down and type in the dimensions uh 150 okay so same goes to the bottom so you need to do for all the pillars top and bottom okay 150 repeat the steps accordingly draw right in between the pillars okay 150 the next one so if you can't aim your mouse onto you can always zoom in okay so you cannot you can always zoom in so that you can actually click 150 okay same goes to the bottom 150 and then over here 150 uh, let's add supply okay 150 and one last one at the top 150 all right so right now i have all my sub lines ready okay so what am i gonna do next is that i'm gonna add a sub line for my handrail okay so i'm gonna add one sub line here and then the next thing i'm gonna do is just 
top it up a little bit 50 okay so this 50 is actually the one which you hold on to when you go up the stairs okay so on my left pillar I'm gonna put oh, I'm gonna put uh, a sub line 50 okay and on to my right pillar I'm going to do the same as well I'm gonna put a sub line 50 okay so why do I put a side uh, why do I why do I put a sub line at my corner left and right okay so that my handrail is actually longer than the bars okay so it's gonna end right here okay so the next thing I'm gonna do right now is I can use the line and draw inside of my handrail all right okay so once I have my handrail okay so right now I'm going to zoom in closer and delete these tiny lines in between the okay so make sure you delete the tiny little lines in between okay so why am I deleting all these tiny little lines okay so that later on when I extrude Okay, when I extrude, when I extrude this bar and turn it into a 3D, I can basically just extrude the whole bar. Okay, I don't have to do it one, two, and three. Okay, I'm not gonna do triple job, man. I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna do extra job. Okay, so right now we can start by stretching them out and turn them into a 3d model by using this stretch function okay so click onto the faces and key in 30 so for every single bar i'm gonna stretch them out 30 okay 30 30 and one last one 30 okay so I stretch the bar 30 and then for right now for this I'm gonna stretch them out I call this a mirror okay so you can call whatever you want to I call this a mirror okay so I'm gonna just stretch them out 10 uh, okay so make sure when you key in yeah, key in properly okay if not it's gonna happen like me okay so right now I've got 10 10 10 I'm all done okay so after I extrude them into uh, I turn them into a 3d model okay I can actually delete my staircase and then delete every single piece of this unwanted okay so right now as you can see I have my handrail uh, but it's almost complete but it's not yet okay so what I'm gonna do next is I am going to group every single one of these bars okay I'm gonna group them every single one of these bars right so that later on when I put in my texture it actually I can actually just drag one texture and it pays across the entire bar uh, if I do not group them I have to drag them one two three four you know the whole thing I have to drag several times okay it's gonna be a waste of my time so after I group every single bar I can highlight the entire thing and group them together okay why am I grouping them together so right now I want I would like to move them out huh? I would like to move them out so I can use this move function and just draw my sideline type in thousand okay so now I have my sideline drawn I can just click on them and then drag it out 1000 Alright, so as you can see, it turns into a 3D model. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I would have to draw the handrail. Okay, the handle. Okay, so I'm going to use the line function and I'm going to just draw according to the subline. So as you can see right now, you know why the subline is so useful. 
okay so i already have my handle okay the next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna stretch it out again okay, 50 okay so once i'm done stretching it out i can actually highlight the entire thing and group them together all right so Control g to group them all right once i've grouped them i am going to move them out okay one thousand all right and then if you see it's not it's a little bit too out you can actually click on the handle and move them okay accordingly all right so right now we have our handrail ready okay so we can go return okay and then we can go to our cloud okay and then we can hold on to your control and just paint the entire bar okay so hold on to your control and just drag the texture all right guys so this is how you draw a handrail by using the free modeling function good luck trying guys